In today's travel vlog, we're going to show you everything you need to do to get into Greece as an American. We're currently on our way to Tirana International Airport after spending the past three months touring around the Balkans. We looked into crossing into Greece via the land border at Kakavia, but that was still closed except for essential travel. So we're flying into Greece, and the airport that we're flying into is Athens. One of the things you need to get into Greece is a passenger locator form. And one of the questions that asks you is where you're going to be staying for at least the first 24 hours. So we had to make sure that we secured our lodging so we had our proper address to fill out the form. There's a bunch of pages, but it's pretty straightforward and you only need one per family. We also needed to get a test and that was pretty simple. We just went onto the US Embassy site, picked a lab from that website and went to the lab. Super quick test, no problems, except they said they couldn't email us the results. So we had to go back to the clinic to pick it up. Um, about seven to eight hours, they said, but we decided to go ahead and pick it up the next morning. One thing you should always be mindful of is your spelling on any paperwork that is filled out. Usually when you fill out your own paperwork, you don't have any issues writing your name properly. But when we picked up our tests, I'm really glad that I double checked because they had misspelled my middle name. And honestly, when you're traveling international, you just don't want any issues. So we were able to ask the lady at the lab to go ahead and fix that. And she did. After a couple of minutes, we were on our way. Okay. It should just be about an hour flight, but Athens is a time zone over from Tirana, so it'll be two hours later once we land. Perfect. Negative, negative. Negative, negative. And the QR code, please. The oh, oh this uh, one? for the this, this one. one. Okay. Oh. Perfect. Uh, Will, yes. you're going for test and heal. Okay. Because it's a random. It's a oh, okay. 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 You go? 50 50 shot. <laughs> <laughs> and, something like that. <laughs> you, uh, go through this the or? Door, okay. The second door, okay. you're going to the doctor. Can okay. you go with him? Yes, only you, you make it because okay. we are okay. uh, together. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. We're going to go look for the doctor. He said just me, but. Thank you. Yeah, it was not bad. It was just like the, the throat one. Um, I think we get to skip some of the line too, so it's even better. It is so empty. Like nobody is here yet, which is good for us. Got ourselves some handy dandy Athens maps. And it's free. Two on Metro Line Three to Syntagna Square. Yeah. Yes. We are headed to downtown Athens, and there are two options to get over there. You can either take the bus, which is six euros a person, or the metro, which is ten dollars. Uh, or I'm sorry, ten euros a person. And so we decided to take the metro option because it's about it should be about fifteen minutes shorter. Um, and because there's two of us, it was actually only 18 euros for the both of us. We've made it to Greece. We're in Greece. This is the liveliest we've seen anything in the entire travels we've been on. This Look at the fellas actually on. I mean, Greek music is blaring through the speakers. Like, there's no doubt about it. So there's some kind of parade happening. We're trying to hurry up and get up these steps. With all our luggage. <laughs> it's a welcome parade for us being in Greece. Yeah. We're excited. We've made it to our hotel room. And I gotta say, there's some paperwork, but 
wasn't too bad. And uh, once we got off of the uh, airplane, we got our bags pretty easily and we found the Metro to take us to our stop. And as soon as we got off the Metro, like, wow, this city is hustling. I mean, there's music, there's a parade, maybe a protest. I don't know. Regardless, it is super lively and we're just so excited to be here in Greece. In our next few videos, we'll actually explore this town and maybe some others. You'll have to stay tuned to find that out. Thanks for watching. This is Witty Travels. What, what could, could possibly, possibly be next? next?